Hi, I'm Bill Donahue, President of the Catholic League and the author of The Catholic Advantage. I want to take a couple of minutes to explain to you why I wrote this book and what its thesis is. As a sociologist, I have long known that people of faith are the most likely to be healthy, both in terms of measurements of physical health and mental health. Who are the least likely? The guys at the other end of the scale, the agnostics, the atheists. What about happiness? Who, are the, who amongst us are the most likely to be happy? Again, people of faith, we know this by survey research. Who are the least likely to be happy? The agnostics and the atheists. The evidence is overwhelming on this. I wanted to look at something else besides health and happiness. I added a third, heaven. Now, admittedly, God makes the call on who makes it to heaven, but it's not unreasonable to argue that people of faith have an edge. Why? Because the evidence shows indisputably they're the most likely to be charitable in terms of self-giving and to exercise altruistic characteristics. Who are the least likely to be altruistic and the least likely to be charitable? Again, the agnostics and the atheists. Now, because I'm a Catholic and I have a Catholic audience, I looked at people of faith through the Catholic prism. That's why I'm looking at, for example, practicing Catholics, saints, nuns, particularly cloistered nuns, and, of course, priests. And who are the agnostics and atheists that I'm looking at? Two groups which, on the face of it, may look like, initially, they don't have much in common. Hollywood celebrities and intellectuals. Hollywood celebrities have no time for God. And the intellectuals, well, of course, they're smarter than God. Well, why is it that the cloistered nun, for example, tends to be so much healthier and happier, and I would argue more likely to make it to heaven, than the gals who are out there, the celebrities and the guys in Hollywood? What about the professors, the armchair professors? Are they charitable? No. Are they happy? No. What's going on here? Why are they the least likely to be happy and to be healthy? I looked at what I call the three B's, beliefs, bonds, and boundaries. If you look at the evidence, that's where it comes to. In terms of beliefs, by definition, people of faith are believers. Praying for, the, for yourself and praying for others, the studies show, does matter. And when it comes to bonds, a sense of connectedness, the kind you get by belonging to a parish community, as opposed to the individualism of the celebrity and the intellectual, that also matters greatly when it comes to health and happiness. And how about boundaries? The idea that there are limits in society, that we need to put limits on our behavior unless we engage in risky behavior, sexually or with alcohol and drugs. Who has the problem there? Again, the celebrities and the intellectuals. Well, if you take a look at this, people, the three Bs, beliefs, bonds, and boundaries, to the extent that you accept that, they facilitate clearly the likelihood of being healthy and happy and making it to heaven. That's what this book is about. I know it'll be controversial, but you know what? Let's have some fun with it and let's debate it.